Everybody's concerned. No, nobody knows what the future holds. Uncertainty consumes the employees of an Eastern Oregon food processing plant decimated by a fire earlier in the week. We're still kind of in shock of like exactly what is going on. Um, it feels like we're not being taken care of. Javier Padilla and his co-workers at Shears Foods can't help but feel that way following a Thursday morning meeting with company leaders. KGW has learned employees were given a letter stating they're eligible for a minimum of five weeks pay, at which point COBRA benefits kick in. Workers we spoke with believe it's only a matter of time before they're out of a job. They just throwing us out there in the cold. They not really like want to help us. They just want to just throw us out there and get rid of us. You might recall that on Tuesday afternoon, flames tore through the Shears Foods plant, a plant that accounts for one in 30 jobs in Hermiston. A portable boiler powered by natural gas is to blame for the explosion that sent at least six people to the hospital. Fortunately, they were treated and released, but now they're facing the prospects of unemployment. Uh, a lot of signatures were uh, very upset people. That Workers have started a petition in hopes of saving their jobs and livelihoods in the wake of the devastating fire. This job I really did love. You know, what I mean, I love this job. And when I went to work, I was happy, you know what I mean? It's the definition of job satisfaction, but it may be short-lived if the fire really is the end of the Shears Foods plant in Hermiston. And if so, this is the fear for the hundreds of workers who consider themselves family. There's over 400 of us that have to go find a job. We have to basically fight our own family to go find this job. It's limited out here. We did reach out to Shears Foods for a comment. A spokesperson told us what they relayed to employees Thursday is an interim plan to ease any immediate concerns. In the coming days, the company will be evaluating the damage from the fire and making decisions as to the short and long-term viability of the Hermiston facility. We'll, of course, stay on top of it. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.